Hello everyone, my name is Rose. I'm Developer Community Manager here at Wowza. In order to protect your video content as it's transmitted across a network, you can configure an SSL certificate, also known as a TLS certificate. And what that does is it allows for the creation of a secure channel that will encrypt all content and traffic as it travels across that channel. Once you have that configured, you can then stream across HTTPS instead of HTTP, which is considered unsafe by most browsers and will be flagged. And you can also stream your RTMP securely as RTMPS. In the blog below, I do explain in detail what is an SSL or TLS certificate. I talk about the role that plays in the conversation between the server and the browser. But in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can download an SSL TLS certificate directly through the Wowza website. And also, we're going to configure port 443, which we need to have set up in order to stream with that certificate in Streaming Engine. OK, so let's get started. Go ahead and open up Wowza.com, and I'll show you where we can find the article we'll be following today. You can go ahead and use the search function at the top of the page. You can also hover over Resources and click on Documentation. Once the documentation page opens, you can type for SSL certificate in the search bar. You can also use the left navigation bar under Streaming Engine. Scroll down until you see Security. Open that. Click on the SSL arrow. And then very first article is the one we will be following. So for all streaming engine licenses, uh, paid or perpetual, you do have access to download a free SSL certificate through the StreamLock service, okay? So let's go ahead and see how we can download this and set this up. If you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up for one and click on that link right there. If you do already have a Wowza account, what you'll do is just go to Wowza Media Systems, right up here at the top, click on My Account. You'll have to log in. I'm already logged in. Once you're logged in, it'll take you to this page with all your account information. Now, right here underneath my account, right under the tab to the right, you'll see Streamlock. Go ahead and click on that. It does give you the instructions here on how to apply for an SSL certificate. It's the same information that is here in the documentation, but let's just walk through it together. So we'll scroll down here to request and download. it's telling us we need to enter some information in these fields. So the first one that it will ask for is your Wowza Streaming Engine license key. The next field you need to enter your IP address for the server where you'll be streaming and where that SSL certificate is downloaded. For certificate password, you can go ahead and make that anything you want to. Just make sure you write it down or keep it close by because we will be referring to it shortly. Click on Apply for SSL Certificate. I've already walked through this before this tutorial, so just to let you know, it can take about an hour or two before your SSL certificate will show up at the bottom of this account page. And it will show up right down here at the bottom where you'll see My SSL Certificates. Under host name, that is the name of your SSL or TLS certificate. By the way, the reason you continue to hear me refer to SSL certificate or TLS certificate is because both terms are used interchangeably and they mean the same thing. Technically, SSL was renamed TLS in 1999. You can read more about that in the blog below. But just know that SSL certificate does exactly the same thing as a, a TLS certificate. So back to in your account information, once you applied for the SSL certificate, it will show up an hour or two later. And right under host name, that is the name of your certificate. Next to that is your IP address. The license key is your engine key. And over to the right, you'll see certificate information with this link to download the certificate. Go ahead and click on that. And once we have that downloaded, we can go back to our documentation and see what we need to do next to install your StreamLock certificate. 
copy your downloaded certificate, which is a .jks file, to the config folder on your Wowza Streaming Engine host. All right, I'll show you how to do that. So go into your download files. You'll see your Streamlock certificate right there. Copy that, and we're going to go into our Streaming Engine folder and look for the config folder. There it is. Go ahead and paste that Streamlock certificate into that folder. I already did this earlier, but I'll open it and show you. That's what it will look like. All right, back to our documentation. So we've gone ahead and placed it in the correct folder, and now we need to configure a host port to use that Streamlock certificate. Now we do need to go into Streaming Engine Manager. And once we're in there, we need to click on the Server tab and click Virtual Host Setup. All right, in Streaming Engine Manager, click on Server, Virtual Host Setup, jump back over. Once you're in there, you want to click Edit, scroll down to Host Ports, and click Add Host Port. All right, click Edit, scroll down to Add Host Port, click on that. Looks like we have some information to enter here. Let's go back over to the documentation. In the Add a New Host Port dialog box, enter the following data. Name, enter Streamlock, type, select Streaming, the IP address, enter a wildcard character, port 443. Okay, so enter Streamlock here. It looks like streaming is already selected as default IP address. We're going to enter the wildcard character, and the port is 443. Back over to the dock. Select Enable SSL Stream Lock, and then do the following. We need to enter a key store path. So let's just quickly click that. Here's the key store path. According to the documentation, we need to specify the location of our Streamlock certificate. We already know where that is. We put it in the config file. Enter this entire line right here, and then we will change this placeholder name with the actual name of our Streamlock certificate. So what you want to do is just grab that entire line right there, that everything that's in bold. Go ahead and enter that in your key store path. And in name, what you'll do is go back to your, your config folder and take a peek at your Streamlock certificate. You're going to copy and paste everything before streamlock.nut.jks. Copy that and then enter that there for the name because we already have streamlock.nut.jks already appended to the end. All right, so get that all set up there. Key store password. Remember in the beginning of the tutorial when you were applying for the Streamlock certificate, you had to create a password, and I asked you to uh, keep that close by. We will be referring to it. This is the time. Go ahead and enter that password. Oops. Click Add. I'm going to click Cancel because I already set this up earlier. Once you click Add, you will see that you have correctly configured your streaming port 443. Click Save. And let's head back over to our documentation. We don't have too much more to do. So we entered Streamlock. Streaming was selected. The wildcard character, port 443. We clicked Enable SSL Streamlock. We entered our key store path. We changed the name to our Streamlock certificate name. We entered our key store password, add. OK. We saved it. Step 5. And then as I showed you, you will see it show up now under Host Ports. Restart the virtual host. So go back into Engine, Ma Engine Manager. It, it's always a good idea to restart the engine manager when you make any change for those changes to actually take effect. So click on restart now. Are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Virtual host has been restarted. Okay, back to documentation. If you continue to scroll, scroll through the article, what it will do now is give you some examples and instruction on how to configure HTTPS streaming and some different players on the market. I am going to go ahead and show you a very quick way to test this, uh, see if you can do an RTMPS stream. So in your engine manager, what you can do is go to the top of the screen to applications. We're going to go to our default VOD 
application that is already set up whenever you download Streaming Engine Manager. It comes with a default live application and a default video on demand application. So this is where we are. And then what you can do now just to make sure that that Streamlock certificate and that, po that host port are configured correctly is you can go to the JW Player uh, test page here. And what you need to do is click on JW Player 7. They have a test stream place. So you can just stop that if you want. Click JW Player 7. Make sure you click on Flash because for anything with RTMP, you, you do need to have a Flash player. Click on that. And also really quickly, everyone, right here in the, in the browser, click on that padlock. Make sure Flash Allow is selected. Okay. Get rid of that. Go back down here. So JW Player 7, Flash. We do need to enter a file URL, a stream to test, and I will show you how you can set that up. So what it will be is RTMPS, colon, slash, slash, and then the name of your Streamlock certificate, dot streamlock.net, slash video on demand, that's our sample application, slash sample, mp4 and again in your video on demand application streaming engine manager we already have the buck bunny uh, mp4 already configured for you so once you enter that you can go ahead and click test stream you can ignore this pop-up just click ok and it should open our buck bunny there it is so that is letting us know that we correctly installed the SSL certificate, we correctly configured host, four, host port 443, and everything seems to be working. Let's go ahead and stop that. Back in our documentation, if you continue to scroll down to the bottom, if you did have any problems installing this, there's some troubleshooting tips here for you. If you have any questions or issues with this tutorial, please go to wowza.com. You can hover over the support tab, click on forums, and you can ask a question under the Wowza Streaming Engine form and let me know what I can help you with. I hope that was helpful for you. Leave a comment or reach out should you need any assistance. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.